good morning. It's a wonderful chilly 40, 48 currently. And uh, good old state of California. So today, we can actually head to the shop. We have a Trinity exhaust we're going to install on a customer's uh, XP1K. So we're going to do a little before and after video on that. I think we're waiting for a shipment of products from SafeGlow. I think that's going to be about it for today. So, pretty simple laid back day. Nothing too crazy. We got some other stuff coming up here soon. It'll be a little bit more exciting, but try to keep the content going here. And uh, it's kind of roll day by day. So, I'm gonna let the truck finish warming up. Then we're gonna head down to the shop. We're gonna get this Trinity slip on system installed on this Razor. And uh, we'll see you guys back there. We just got to the shop. We're gonna get to installing the Trinity slip on system on Phil's XP1K. Uh, it's a 2019 XP1000 four seat. He's done a bunch of stuff to the car. Um, you know, at other shops and stuff like that. No problem, no big deal. I have a problem with that. So we're gonna get installed on this. We also have a Dynajet Power Vision with a Stage 2 91 Octane tune coming for this, which will be an aftermarket Assassin's uh, custom tune, per usual, the normal stuff we use. And we're upgrading the rollers on the secondary, on the clutch, and doing the exhaust. Just a nice little kicking the ass for this car and uh, should definitely notice a huge difference on it even though it's not a turbo car it does make a pretty good difference on these 1000s it's kind of my best bang for buck um, option that I offer for these like anyone that was a 1000 I was like hey what can I do to add some more power stock clutching works really good if you have a good paddle setup he's on a pretty budget paddle setup so next season he does plan on getting some better paddles that aren't so heavy and stiff and then, like I said, we do, uh, you can do an exhaust, either ANA or Trinity, or you can bring me one and I'll put it on. Um, I've modified the stock ones by removing the cats and putting a hole in the baffle. I've done that on a few cars, actually Tori's black TC that you saw in a couple other videos. Um, that's how his car is. Um, then we're doing a stage two exhaust, or sorry, stage two tune from Aftermarket Assassins on this, which will have the Dynajet Power Vision, so, um good way to wake up these cars they're not gonna make a ton more power but like the low mid-range power um, with this tune is drastically improved the throttle response the overall drivability of the car and getting rid of all the little limiters and stuff that players implements into the factory tunes is uh, removed so uh, it's a good little upgrade good bang for buck so These are our muffler brackets. You can get hardware and instructions, uh, spark resistor screens if you choose to run them. Uh, rule of thumb, anything with packed mufflers, don't run these screens for the first few hours. Um, that way any of the loose packing or packing that's going to burn off will uh, not get caught in this and get trapped. What will happen is people put these in and the new packing stuff plugs these screens and creates a bunch of back pressure and burns up the mufflers and stuff, so keep that in mind. This is going to be our quote-unquote like head pipe for the mufflers. This will take from a single into a dual because the Trinity system runs dual mufflers. Um, again, this is a slip-on system, so this will go to the factory head pipe. This is the stainless with black muffler system. The 
this is going to be your muffler bracket. They're going to sit the chassis. These are our mufflers. So, our nice stage five Trinity mufflers. Cool little tips. Nice little design, straight through. Packed muffler, like I was, like I was saying. So. This is our second muffler. Well, that's pretty much going to be it as far as what's in this kit since it's supposed to slip on. Let's set this behind the car so we have something to set our stuff on. We got straps to floor, customer's parts. This is your stock exhaust system. Completely familiar with at this point. Okay, so give me a minute. We get everything set up, and uh, we'll get to install. So as you can see we got the mufflers all loosely uh, put together with the muffler brackets. We have the inlets bolted on and we have the spring clip retainer thingies here ready to go. All these are in, torqued down, so we're about ready to uh, get the factory exhaust off of this car. And we're going to get the uh, Trinity system installed. I'm going to do a quick video of what it sounds like stock, even though most of you guys know what it sounds like. But just because we can, I'm going to do it. And uh, we'll get going on the uh, install.
So as you guys saw, we got the exhaust installed on the car. It's all good to go. Um, we're going to get the tune flash on it tomorrow when it shows up from uh, aftermarket assassins. So once that shows up, we're going to get the tune flash and we're going to do, um, I think that's it actually. I think that's about it for this car. As you can tell, I just showed you guys right now. Um, we wired up some heretic. LED pod lights that the customer supplied on Axie amounts. Um, they're wired properly to a switch on fuse power. So he's going to be good to go. You know, have a nice little car, a few simple little upgrades that are going to go a long way with this car. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Like and subscribe as always. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.